We begin with a live look at our state capitol, where lawmakers are considering restoring first-degree murder as an offense in which suspects can be held without the possibility of bail. Glad you're with us tonight. I'm Shannon Ogden. And I'm Jessica Porter. The state abolished the death penalty in 2020, and it set off a series of unintended consequences, including a Supreme Court ruling allowing even the most serious offenders the right to bond or bail as they await trial. Well, Denver 7's Russell Haythorn reports tonight on a bill making its way through the legislature that would reverse course. Historically, with capital offenses like first degree murder, Colorado could hold murder suspects without bail. Such was the case after the Aurora Theater shooting in 2012. Marcus Weaver survived that shooting. As someone who's been through a capital punishment trial, to have someone who just committed a heinous crime like that to be on the streets causes a huge public safety issue. But when the state abolished the death penalty in 2020, it set off a wave of unintended consequences, including a state Supreme Court ruling that determined because there is no longer a capital murder offense, everyone, no matter the crime, even first degree murder suspects, would be eligible for bail. With uh, the removal of the death penalty, there's no longer a capital crime. The definition of a capital crime in common law is one for which the death penalty can be awarded. It does have a ripple effect on victims. And so we want to be able to have some certainty. Now, lawmakers in Colorado, like Democratic Senator Rhonda Fields, whose son was murdered in 2005, and Republican Senator Bob Gardner, are backing a new bill that would reinstate no bail for murder suspects. They restore um, first degree murder uh, as a non bailable offense whenever. Uh, the presumption is great or proof is evident. The bill has bipartisan support. Lawmakers say it also addresses an inequity in the law as it stands now, which favors the rich because those of means have a greater probability of posting bail. There's no equity in it, which means if you have the resources to come up with the three million, 100 million, whatever it is, people who have the means can bond out. It's very disturbing to, to victims when in the past they would have been told this person's not getting out. Courtney Whitelaw is one of those victims. She testified before lawmakers about her daughter Riley, who was brutally murdered in 2022 by a co-worker. It's a gaping one that must be closed. No one spoke in opposition to the bill during the committee hearing. The committee voted to pass the bill on an eight to two vote. I will be a yes today. It will now go before the full House and full Senate before it goes to a vote of the people on the November ballot. Assuming the people of Colorado pass the, the change to the Constitution, which we're confident they will when they understand what, what it's about, um, that will be the case and we'll, we'll stop having $10 million bail. Russell Haythorn, Denver 7.